great win for you, Ben over Mark Selby. And first of all, just talk us through that clearance in the last round. Um, yeah, uh, I was just surprised to get a clearance. Once I uh, popped the first red that just went in and got on the black, I knew it was a chance that, I, you know, it was a bit of a shock really that I had a chance, but I knew it was a chance to clear up. And um, the black to the last red, I didn't play to hit the bolt cushion as well. And I was surprised how much power I got from the black to get up for the red. And then, yeah, I landed pretty good on the from the last red to the black as well. And then um, it's just about, uh, you know, holding yourself together on the last few balls. Yeah. Yeah, and presumably just before that you were sitting in your chair, you know, Mark was in the balls, you're thinking it's all over and then suddenly you're back at the table with the chance to clear up. How, how difficult is it to keep your head in that kind of situation? Um, I'm normally pretty good at that. I'd, pretty laid back really. Um, just, I just, in my mind I thought I probably won't get a chance. Um, I just kept playing the right shot, just rolling the reds and hoping I'll get a chance to free the reds up, but, um, you know, against Mark. I was just fortunate because um, most days you, when he's 50 up with 51 on, um, he's just going to you know, tie the frame up and you won't get a chance. So, yeah. And of course Mark's the world number one, multiple world champion. Some players probably feel a bit intimidated just by his, his success over the years. But you grew up with Mark in Leicester, so do you kind of just treat it almost as if you're, you're playing against a mate? Yeah, um, I, I used to feel a few years ago playing a top player would be a bit in all of them but nobody really now because you see them all the time but yeah playing Mark it's uh, I don't even feel like I'm you know playing world number one I'm just playing a mate really that you know I've played for nearly 20 years so yeah. Yeah. Um, and you got to the final of the Welsh Open three years ago since then you haven't been able to get right go have a really deep run in a tournament how, how difficult is it to just keep playing keep plugging away and just keep waiting for that week when it all comes together yeah, it is hard. It, you know, you have so many disappointments. But um, for me, you know, if I could have one week to win a trophy, um, it'd all be worth it. So every tournament, I'm just trying to do that. Hopefully, do that before um, I finish playing. And having beaten the world number one, there's uh, you know no barriers for you having another good run this week. Yeah, I'm, I won't get. It. I'm not getting too excited about winning this match because. Um, you know, it's just getting through another round and it's still early in the tournament so um, it wouldn't mean that much uh, unless I at least got quarters or semis at the tournament I wouldn't just want to win this match and then not perform tomorrow so um, yeah I'll enjoy the win but um, tomorrow it'll be uh, about playing well again well done bud